Oh my god, I can see you have my baby! Hey folks, this is Dr. Zero with another episode of Raft Survival Game Tips, Tricks, and Strategy Guide. This will be episode 5. Um, it's been a little bit. I'm going to try and get back on track on this series. I really need to. I know you guys are enjoying it, and um, I'm getting a lot of views, so I need to get back into it. Anywho, um, we're just going to jump right into where we left off and continue to go. And the point of this series is... I'm not trying to make the prettiest thing. I'm trying to get everything as fast as possible and make everything super efficient and basically the mechanics of the game. So if you if you don't understand something, that's the whole point of the video. All right, well, enjoy. Alright, um, so this is the uh, Help Island. It's a new island. Um, I'm going to go ahead and probably hang out here, although I don't have a lot of wood. And as we've talked about beforehand, to stay on station I need wood for food and water. So we can't stay here for very long. I'm sure we're not going to hit. And, and I don't even think I have a stone uh, anchor. Get out of here. No, I gotta go. And there we go. I'm gonna chill here for a little bit until it's daytime. And do I have any bait? Yeah, I do have, but I need to make bait. Okay, let's see the one. Alright, um, so more grinding until, uh, daytime. And we'll start checking this island out. Alright, so, um, we actually don't have enough planks to stay here. It's not like one of those decisions you have to make sometime. Um, I don't want to do this at night, and I can't repair when the shark attacks or feed myself without enough planks. It's just one of those things. So we're going to go ahead and, um, get out of here. And to make an anchor, um, I need four stone. I've got enough to make another anchor, so it's not a big deal. We'll come back to this island. But I have to keep going. A lot of times, if, you, if you're uh, in this kind of building phase I'm in right now, see, it? and I need to be able to repair um, this particular guy. There we go. Um, a lot of times in this beginning phase, you just have to give up on islands because you're just not prepared. And I'm not. I'm definitely. And it's a good decision. I would run out of water. There's just no way I could do this. Bye, Help Island. We'll see you soon. Back to the grind. Alright, we uh, <clears throat> did some grinding, passed up uh, another island, kind of got through most of our um, stuff that we got to cook, which uses up a lot of planks. Uh, made a storage box, large storage box, put it over here. Been doing, I got 14 ingots, ingots, 
and other prepared things. Uh, made two more nets. We're gonna make more soon. Um, but we need planks to stay on station. That's the number one thing. Uh, we researched the feather, which uh, feathers give you um, a couple. Of, they give you, you know, um, arrows, um, the bed, things like that. And the paintbrush if you like to paint stuff. Um, yep. So we're going to be getting ready to uh, come to an island soon. And also, what do we need? Um, we're going to be making a, uh, an advanced grill, which is going to be nice for cooking a lot more food. So that's a big, big deal, kind of. And we got a, a little boat right there. Looks like. Yeah, we don't want to hit that. Again, until you get the ability to uh, steer your ship, you do not want to hit stuff. So we're going to move away from that. So we are going to jump on and get whatever's on there. I think you can do it like this right here. Yeah. I want to be just beside it. See how much chicken I'm eating? These birds will give you a lot of food once you learn how to spear them. Just... Yeah, I think I'm just there. Get out of here! It looks like he's got one more and he's gonna die so I get the food from him. So I'm gonna get bit, but um probably gonna swim out there, get it, and then swim back. Sit. Good boy. Now these rafts, once you get on, they start to sink, so you gotta get that stuff and then get back. Oh, he didn't get me. Haha. -ha. And we got, um, Bolt. A couple of things out of that. Nothing crazy, but it's my stuff. And then we're gonna harvest him. And then we're gonna make, um, advanced grill put over here. Need ingots. Okay. Need more nails. Starting to accumulate a lot of stuff fast now. These nets. It'll once you get to oh, what do I got? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight. Um, you start having, you stop having to worry about um, stuff to build with. All right, there we go. Put you over here. Remember, you want to place stuff, like, one tile away. Alrighty. Thank you, little guy. But, um... <laughs> see a little blood spurted out of him? I got a hit on him. Alright, so we're not going to need, need you anymore. Thank you, small grill. So we're going to hit the X button. Send it on its way. Hi. Need more sand and they'll make water and then um, things are really going to start rolling here. So on the grill, you can put three things at a time. And also once they're done, they'll just sit there. They don't go bad. So it's almost like food storage. Alright, so we also have copper ore that we've grabbed. So we're going to go ahead and start smelting that. You need that for uh, batteries and uh, circuit boards to make more complex things. Mm -hmm. 
A lot of feathers. Let's see, can we make... We don't have enough, uh... Yeah, we don't have enough to make a bow. Takes, only takes two, but I got one. So the next island we should be ready to um, stop on. We're gonna have enough wood. I'm done pretty much cooking stuff. I'm st I mean, I'm I am still cooking stuff, but my ability to to get a lot of woods increasing quickly. Let's see if we can build another collection up. Yep, Let's go build two. Damn. Oh yeah, sweet, sweet sound of resource collection. Right. All right, well, um, I'll go ahead and uh, cut until uh, yeah, get out of here. We'll cut until uh, we get to an island, and then uh, we'll do that. And we might be nearing. I'm trying to keep these at 30 minutes, so we might be hitting near. I don't know. Because I'm going to be cutting stuff out, I don't know the time. I'm not doing just straight playthroughs, because this game is, I don't know, it's kind of boring to watch straight playthroughs. It's not like, say, Seven Days to Die or something like that. I can only comment so much on, like, reorganizing stuff from one container to the next. And there's only, I mean, trying to make it more informative than just, just straight up playthrough. Because once we reach a certain point, I'm just going to be doing, like, how to get honey, how to do this. Instead of just uh, me doing kind of like a playthrough. Alright, well, we'll, uh, we'll cut to an island. Alright, we're not quite at an island yet, but I just wanted to show you real quick since we've got copper. What that's going to get you. See how it, I research it and it kind of, you have to scroll up. There we go. So we're going to get the battery. And we're going to get the circuit board. You need the circuit board to, uh, to build other items. In and of itself, it's not useful. But the battery, um, you actually use to power the uh, antenna receiver so you can find the islands. And then uh, the sprinkler system when you're... Um, you don't want to manually water the grass to feed the animals once you get into uh, animal uh, husbandry. Uh, but yeah, that's what the batteries are for. Alright, and we'll get to an island here soon enough. Oh man, I've been waiting a really, really long time for an island, and it just popped out over there. Hopefully I can get to it. Oh! Oh god. Guess I've... Getting kinda bored. <laughs> I've, uh... I gotta concentrate on getting to this, but I've done a lot of upgrading. Um, increase the size of the base, more storage. Um, I've got a... Metal uh, spear. Um, and I'm making the base generally larger, more organized. But I really, for me to can to, to progress, obviously I gotta get stuff from islands. So I think I can get there. Even if I have to make another paddle real quick, I think I'll be good. Should be able to get to it. Yeah, right after this, I'm gonna make a sail. And then uh, we won't need this paddle. In fact, I was about to make one, but then this island popped up. Come on. Get out of here. That's probably close enough, but... A little farther. I'm not gonna need this paddle anymore anyway. It don't matter. Brakes. Come on, brake, 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 brake. Oh, not, not too close. Oh, yeah. Just good. Alright. <clears throat> need to make a bed so I can go to sleep. And get through the, uh, the night time. But it's not too bad trying to find stuff. It, it gets all glowy. Like the resources. No, uh, this might be an island that doesn't have a lot of stuff. We're gonna find out. There is at least one that's not very good. Although it might be over in that direction. Which, with the way the shark works now, that's fine. Uh, the farther you are away from the boat, uh, you don't really have to worry about the shark. So that might be a 
kind of a new strategy is to just get the boat as far away. You just have to keep in mind that he's going to wreck something. Hopefully not one of these guys. But at this point, they're not too expensive to make. And again, if you put it one behind, then you don't have to worry about these. But like, literally, within another hour of gameplay, I'm going to be reinforcing these. Like, I'll be on an orgy of uh, resource um, processing, and then I'll I'll be making tons of stuff after this island, probably. So yeah, I've kind of um, made three to four, maybe even five more nets. I got about two thirds of the uh, the debris field covered, and I started moving stuff to the left and right. I'm usually doing food oriented stuff on the left, and then the resources, materials on the right, and kind of. Getting ready to put a sail in the center here. So, let's get organized for a swim. And I need these to make a sail, each one of that. I was in the process of moving stuff around. Now, if the bird gets, um, if the bird gets this crop, I don't really care. I don't. I mean, I've got this many more I can replant. I don't even use these for food anymore. It's just fish and the birds themselves. And when I fish to get bait, food is plentiful. I mean, look, here, check it out. I've already got eight shark. And I got plenty of chicken cooking all the time. That's how much cooked I have on me right now. Here. Water is the main pain right now. It's, you have to constantly be doing it with this thing. That's why I got to get sand so I can make the water purifier. And then this becomes less of a chore. We have a bunch of bait. Um, what I got here should be good. That scrap hook should be good for this island. I know I've got a plastic one just in case. Metal spear I got, it's good enough, but I'll need to be making backups of all this stuff pretty soon. And after this, I should be able to make a bow. Definitely a priority on that as well. So, sand clay and goo are my priorities. Scrap, I mean, you get scrap from barrels. Not a lot, but you do get it. So that's not really a priority this run. But, again, if... I mean, I've got this much wood, and at this point... Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I can stay here for a long time and get everything, to be honest. So, let's, uh, let's do this. Let me get him as far away. It depends on whether or not this is one of the islands with uh, very few resources. We're going to find out. I got enough water for right now. And then I got a water bottle, so... Or an oxygen bottle. Not breathing water, not Aquaman. But yeah, scrap hook. Oh, so much faster. I'm not sure if he was ready to die anyway, so we can take at least one hit from him. And we're so close to that, we can jump on there if we need to. But, I mentioned it before, they changed the behavior of the shark. Once you're far enough away, he won't attack you. I think I'm so close enough that he's going to come get me, but... I'm not too worried about it. Once you get the bow, it, only, it really doesn't become a problem. Hitting him with the spear is kind of tricky. You gotta time it just right, and I don't always time it just right. I 
Yeah, well, once you have the bow, you can nail them in the mouth and they'll swim off. You can kill them like that, but it, it'll, it's a, pretty much a guaranteed way of getting them to, like, not attack you. Hell yeah, sweet. Uh, there's a fair amount of resources on this island. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good amount. Could definitely use more seaweed. We'll see on the other side. Lots of scrap here. It's kind of hard to, like, turn away from it, but I really don't need that much, and I don't need much copper. Iron is just... Once you start building stuff, you can't turn away from it. Every single piece of iron ore you gotta get, because you need it for so much stuff later on. See, the, these are uh, iron, and the, the bigger, bulbous ones are copper. I got enough copper, right? I don't even really need copper right now. See, that's copper, and this is iron. And we got ourselves a little uh, crate. Our fish stew recipe. So we get the advanced uh, cooking thing. We can make really cool advanced foods that give us a uh, much longer run time, so to speak, with our food. There's a fair amount. See, and the, uh, before the patch, at this point, I would have been attacked by the shark. It's definitely, he's definitely chewed through that bait, but I'm so far away from it, he's not coming after me. Now, unfortunately, he is probably attacking the boat. Just the normal time frame in which he will, but he's probably attacking it. Not too concerned. Even if I lose a net, it's not that big a deal. The fact that I'm not being harassed by the shark means I can get so much. This is why I say it's easier once uh, you're far away, because there's no way. I would have used bait, killed the shark, and I would have got a certain amount of time, and then he would have come back. Uh, be about four minutes total between the bait and um, killing him, and I'd have to do it all over again, but now I don't. So it's kind of just a free-for-all for all the resources. The scrapbook is amazing! Oh, copper. That. It should last me. If not, I got a plastic one, and I'll make another one. I just didn't want to take up the inventory. I wanted to kind of use up the plastic one, but um, once I have enough resources, I just throw it away. It might be it for this island. We'll jump up here. We don't need anything, but some free water and food. Mostly the water. Pineapple. Mm, that's good. Get this full on water. Don't need you. Don't need you. And there's a shark again. Ow! Wow! <laughs> I, he has slightly new behavior. He's like mad at me. Look at him. Um, that's looking like a lot of what there is to get on this island. I think there is more scrap and stuff over here. We're checked. I think I said for the seaweed, though. Oh. Just a little bit of scrap over there. I don't really feel like swimming for it. I got enough. Got 22. Get some more probably over here that I missed. Yeah. But the sand and clay, that was... Looked like all of it. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this island. Yeah, this uh, this is one of the islands that doesn't have a crazy amount on it. It's a good amount of stuff, but not... The other islands have more. I can't remember what the help... We had to pass that up, but I can't remember what was on the help me one. Alrighty. Let's 
get out of here. Now you can make a sail and all kinds of stuff. Alright, so first thing we need to do is get a water purifier. Are you gonna die on this one? I think so, maybe. Back here. Come on. Yeah, I didn't take anything out. There might be some damage, but... Uh. Yeah, just kind of run. Zeep. You know, bring out your wooden tool and they'll tell you. I mean, kind of... No, it has to be damaged to a certain point. But you can see how there's like a little bit missing right there versus that one. Kind of lets you visually identify it like that. It's damaged, if you look. Nets damage. Oh, good to go. All right. Let's get uh, this water purifier made. Priority. I need for that. All I need is glass. Just need one more. We got that cooking. Sweet. All right, water comes less of an issue now. So I like to put it next to the water because <laughs> you're gonna be running back and forth to it. Put it right there, and then one away from the outside. And uh, we don't need this one anymore. It's gonna save us on wood and a hassle. All right. And get rid of this. Hmm. All right, I need water bottles to really fill it up. I do it like this, but I do it one at a time. There we go. And then I need goo going. Make a lot of stuff. More than I need ore or anything. Um, need more wet blocks. I think I'm... Let's see what I need. Uh, I don't need glass or anything else right now. You need glass to make uh, honey, strangely enough. I guess for the jars. Uh, once you get honeybees. That. Yeah, yeah, I don't need it, so I'm just going to make... I'll block the rest of it. Stored. stored. No play there. We may, oh, that's enough to make one more. There we go. More than enough to make another smelter. Six, yeah. One more smelter. I got enough room here that I'm going to go ahead and make a uh, sail. And a weather vane and get a uh, navigation going. Palm leaves. Yeah, the big thing to make the sails of palm leaves. Alrighty. Got a sail. You don't want to put that up just yet. We need a, a streamer that tells me the direction that we're going in. And it's very important to keep the boat um, straight that you have a streamer. And I'm going to set this up front. And might not be center, but we'll get it center, roughly center, as we build the boat up. I forget how, I got to count, I think it was 14, but I haven't got the boat uh, at full size anyway. We're at 13. Let's, uh...
So we're just gonna made it 14, so we're gonna put it in the center of that. We're gonna put that right there. Oh, hey Larry! Oh, ooh, how you like that? How you like them, huh? Not so much, not so much, do you? Not so much. Bam, there goes your head, too. No, come back. Definitely need the flippers. One thing to note, if you uh, were out of water and starving, I'm pretty sure the raft can get away from you. So, don't let that happen. Now make sure you're making the goo, you have enough to make the flippers. Don't make that mistake. Uh, let's see, I need, uh, six. So we got enough. We just need to find goo. Those on the Barbie. All right. Before he, I was so rudely interrupted. So we got the weather vane in the center of the ship, and you want it going forward. You want your collection nets catching everything. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the sail directly behind it. We're right there. So you can kind of see it, but right there is good. All right, you can kind of see. You know, you don't have to see it directly from the EMV. You can kind of tell it's going forward. Well, we'll maybe, maybe we'll move it back just a little bit. Yeah. All right. Yeah. There we go. So. About that distance, that way you can kind of tell that you're going true. In case anything happens, you'll you hit anything if you're not paying attention. And then also, what I do is when we get the uh, steering wheel, I'll put it right here, roughly, so I can change um, direction. Okay, what can we get now? now we're going to need six. Should have enough to make a uh, flipper. Yay! Makes us way faster. I'll give you a... so you can see. See how much, like, you fly through the water. Just fly. Alright. But they do wear out. Both of these wear out. I need, uh... Oxygen and a water bottle next. I'm not sure if I have enough for that. I need four. So, yep, I'll have enough to make a water bottle. I won't have enough to make another oxygen bottle, but that's not too crazy important. This, this whole water thing. Just make, you have to get so much water. I have in the uh, this slot, in this slot, I always have my water bottles. Because it's just you're constantly getting water. Okay. Go, go. I'm going to add another... We're going to go in phases of building the boat and then moving stuff back. Um, I counted it off. I believe it was 15. Yeah. So we're going to need another 7 that way. We're going to make this the size that I want. Ah, oh, missed him. And I'm not going to have enough of... Um, fine goo to make a bow, unfortunately. Let's look. Oh, well, hell, I'll definitely make that instead of a water bottle, because that's way more useful. Yeah, definitely. I'd like a water bottle, but psh, bow is super awesome. And now I can make arrows. Oh, man. I don't know if you can hear my hat, uh, cat in the background. He's, she's making uh, noises. She is an unspayed 
female. I take good care. Don't let her out. I need to get her spayed. I know. There was a... Get your cat spayed. But, um, I'm in the middle of a quarantine, so I'm not going outside my house to do that. Plus, she's funny. We talk to each other. I think she's way more vocal that she's unspayed, which is hilarious. She'll say, hello, hello. Like she's saying hello when she gets all randy. She's calling for other cats. It's hilarious. Anywho. Oh, her name is Button, because she's cute as a button. Okay. Make some more stuff and then grind away and cut. Although I think um, we're probably going to close this video out here in a minute. Because I've got a lot of, we've done a lot of work. I'm um, showing you some new stuff and um, we'll see. Like I said, the way I've cut these, I don't know the lengths. So it kind of might be slightly abrupt when I cut. Might be like, bye bye. But um, I'll have a closeout. Even if I do that, I'll have a closeout. But I don't know the exact time. If I was doing a straight playthrough, then I would set a timer. But I'm not doing that, so. Alright, what do I need to do here now? Distracted by talking. Alright, alright. Let's get Oreo. And then I don't have enough to make a bottle. I might make another bow. Some scrap. Rope. On the rope. We're getting close to, uh, since I've got so many collection things, we're getting close to max build time where I'm just like doing nothing but building the base. <clears throat> so I've got a fair amount of scrap. You need that for nails. Because eventually I'm going to have to make a second level here. And another island over here. Um, that's why this is awesome. Just need to make an anchor, but I've got permanent anchor at, behind it, or not there yet. I can just make a temporary anchor. Let's get the sail. It's like, oh, there's an island. Let's go there. You can't go backwards. That's where the engines, they, the new engines they added to the game. That's You can go backwards. That's how you... Uh, there's one island that basically only appears behind you, and the only way you're getting there is with the uh, engines. Like, um, once you get... Oh, you... Yeah, take that! Um. Oh, get out of here. Basically, um, once you get the transceiver and you're looking for islands, it would, like, appear there. Like, straight up, there's no way you're getting there. Even if I turn the sail like I'm doing sideways, that at the most, the, the slowest I can do it is like this. I'm slightly, but I'm not, I, you can't go backwards in the game with the sail. You can only go to the right as much as possible. Like going like that, you'll go the least forward, but you're still going forward. Even with the sail going like this, like so it's kinda see I've got it so it's actually turned backwards. It still is not going backwards. I'm still going forward, but just that's the minimum amount that I can do that. And I don't want to be dead on it. So let's turn it this way a little bit. Just find the edge. It's going straight on it. And you want it to just be beside. The closer you get, the more you'll just get in there. Okay, folks, that's going to wrap it up for episode 5. Uh, we did some modest upgrades. Um, got some navigation going on. 
And um, I think in the future I'm going to try and uh, make the videos just a little bit shorter, maybe about 30 minutes. This one's going a little bit long. Anywho, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'm going to move right on to the uh, next episode and have that up shortly. All right, have a good one. Dr. Zero Gaming Videos, not going to pay for music. Subscribe, like, and share. Bow, bow.